Season one was awesome, had a lot of fun, but now we're back. Same thing, doing the same stuff, driving around, going to another practice, which is where we're going now. But every year, sometimes as a goalie coach, you coach different teams uh, that you normally wouldn't coach. And this year I've joined on with Bell Tire Midget Major AAA, and they skate out of Taylor, Michigan, out of the Taylor Sportsplex. And that's where we're going. I practice with them every Wednesday and Thursday. I'm the assistant coach slash goalie coach, so a little bit of a different role. I pretty much do the same thing. So I coach uh, the goalies on the team, but then I also do video analysis for the boys, and and I uh, stand on the bench and and do my best Mike Babcock impression, which it's pretty good. But you'll have to see that another day. So right now we're heading to practice, and you'll kind of get a little behind the scenes of what Bell Tire AAA is about. It's a one of the premier organizations in Michigan hockey, and. You know, it's known all around the United States for some really good hockey players that play there. Dylan Larkin's played there, Brendan Perlini's played there. A lot of NHL guys have, have gone through Bell Tire AAA. So it'll be cool to kind of get a behind the scenes of, of what we got or set up our locker room and you'll meet some of the boys. So come join us. We're gonna come out, Rick will do two flow drills. All right, so whatever he's got going on there, then we'll get into the practice. We're going for about 55, 60 minutes. Then we're gonna get off, get everything packed up, clean the locker room up and get ready to, get ready to go. It'll be a two on O puck support drill. We'll have pucks here. We'll have coach here, coach here. All the forwards will be in the corners. These two forwards are gonna take off at the same time right at the coaches, right at the center here. As soon as you get to the red line, the coach is gonna to toss the puck anywhere on this side of the red line. Whatever side he tosses it, the closest player is gonna go, grab the puck, the second guy is gonna come support him. You're gonna go two on one towards the other way. As soon as he goes and picks up these pucks, the next two guys will go. You'll take off right at the coach. Coach will just toss the puck into the zone. Closest guy will grab the puck, second guy comes, supports him two on O. Try to get a shot on the goalies. I want all these shots right towards the top of the circles, especially on the two on O here. Second guy that doesn't have the puck goes and crashes the net for a rebound. All right, then we'll go into a small ice game. We're gonna do the uh, two versus one neutral zone. Move pucks, make plays. Defensively, if you can get it, get it to the sideline, get yourself going, try to, try to score on the one. Then we're gonna go three quarter attack on the power play. We're gonna just throw the puck out here you guys are going to turn from three-quarter ice and try to go in on, on a three-quarter ice breakout as opposed to our full breakout. Make sure we're in lanes. The whole key here, Digby's what? Yeah, and moving the puck. So you've got to attack with speed. Once they come to you, we're pushing it off to the side. We want to attack, get zone entry work on our zone entries. We've talked about, we've talked about the safe areas where we, can, where we can push pucks into those areas if we get trapped. All right, so get out there. you got your five minutes, and we'll be coming out. Rick, you ready to go? Ready to go? go? Yep. Oh, Jesus. Right. Pucks in all four corners. What kind of f***ing whistle is that, eh? Did you hear that? Oh. oh. Make sure you get that one on video. That might be the last goal he ever scores because his career might be over with. Hey, Sean's top of the circle still. Don't walk in and shoot at the hash marks. Pucks here, pucks over there. All four corners. On my whistle, the next two will go from the opposite line. So every time I blow the whistle, the next two will go. All right, we'll start with these two down here. Okay. And make sure we're talking. Make sure we're talking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come middle, come middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better 
rebounds, Joe. <laughs> Get a shot, yes. Grab right, some water. That's the blue line. It's going to be black and red. Black and red versus colors. A hey, goal minimum of five or else I'm fine with you. Good save. Good save. Good going, Terry. Good save. Oh, five hole today. We're still going. Yeah. One nothing. Good Good feet, digger. Small area games are one of our favorite things to do. Every practice, we'll play some sort of small area game, whether it's at center ice or sometimes we'll go down there. But it gets really intense. New skate to this. One one. Save go. I think we're winning. Two one. Right now, our, our main objective for midget majors is to move guys on. That's what we want to do. We're here to develop talent. Whoever comes to us, we're here to get them better, move them on to the next level, and that's what it's all about: is getting to these guys to North American League, USHL, getting them to college hockey. That's where we want to go. So we we go on trips and showcases to different Division I colleges like Ferris, Ohio State, a bunch of different places, and, and show them the locker room tour. We were at Lake Superior State earlier in the year. And we, uh, we just kind of show them the locker room, show what it's like, make the connections for these guys, and their play has to speak for themselves, obviously. And we preach that to them, that none of this happens unless you're a winning program. And uh, that's what we do, is we move guys on, and we develop talent. And, this is just the stepping stone for a lot of these guys, and it's hard to make it in hockey. You only get, uh, you know, out of all these guys, maybe one of two of them, maybe three of them will play college hockey. Maybe only one of those guys play pro hockey. It's still real tough, but that's what we're in the business of doing here at AAA Hockey is moving guys on, getting them better. Game. <laughs> 25. Jeez. Yeah, if you scored like that, we wouldn't have lost three games. On the bench, three-quarter ice on the power play. One, three, one's up first, then the umbrella. Give me uh, Rumberger and Eggleston kill. Get out where you would come in, so I need my four and five out wide. One, two, and three. You guys are going that way. I'm throwing it out here. Digby will pick it up. Move it here. Cross up, cross up. Get up top, Terry. No, no, no. Work it. Shot! Dig it, dig it! Next group. Same thing, pick it up, get into your lanes, move pucks, attack with speed. Feels a little different coming right from the neutral zone. That's all it is, I think. You're good, Terry, you're good. back to the one three one what I like about these practices too is that we go over all the drills before practice even starts and as you can see we go drill after drill after drill and we don't stop it's not like we're taking a lot of time it's not like we're taking a lot of time stopping practice going over the drill drawing it on the board then going and executing it these guys already know what we're doing each time every minute of practice and that keeps for a high tempo practice. And I love that. Go, get up the ice! All the four checkers done is come after you for another six feet. You've got to make a play, have deception. There you go, overload, let's go. As we get in the zone, if you're still in trouble, then you can wrap it this way because another guy should be coming in the end over there. You're trying to get into safety areas and then make plays and move it. All right, five on three. Hey, hey, I want him to be the shooter, so you guys are gonna switch to get over to this side. All right, ready, both ends here.
Bingo, bingo, boys. Cross. When he comes across, you got to go behind. The guy with the puck goes in front. The guy without the puck goes behind. Got to go behind him. You got to go behind him. Right, but the problem is that we turn it over, then now, now it's a breakaway every time. We don't do it right. Forwards down here, D down there. I need Tanner and uh, Yancey stay down here. I need some water. Uh, I'm dehydrated. Dehydration. Oh, that last drill is a killer. This tastes like crap. So you're gonna, you're gonna show us some skills here? Oh yeah, hey. Big, big skill guy, eh? See that? Yeah. Safety's off. Uh -huh. That's what we have to look forward to, right here? Try to get the pucks ankles to knees. Ankles to knees. Last 10 minutes, are you going one end? I'm gonna go out, we're gonna go off the ice, we just have the goalies. Okay. Fake shot. What are we doing here again? You're tipping pucks in front. Hey, keep them lower than the neck, okay? Right up a little higher. Actually, no, keep them below my knees. You're trying to kill us? Uh -huh. We scared? This is yeah, they're right throwing them at us. I'm playing goalie too, basically. That's a good tip. There you go. Pick up half the puck, skaters off the ice, two goalies stay out. Hey boys, let's make this one loud for the video, alright? Let's get this boys going. Here we go, boys. Yeah, where'd you get a good one today? Can I rip it or what? No. Nah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Is everyone here? We ready, boys? Yeah. All right, BTF three. One, two, three. That was a good practice. The most playing time I got all year. So we're gonna work like I said, nothing crazy, because we only got like nine minutes out here. I don't want to wear you guys out too much. There's a lot of hockey this weekend, so make sure we're hydrating up, we're watering and everything, and then uh, we're just gonna work on in tight post play, making sure those holes are sealed on the post. That's all we're gonna do. Good. That little, that little hole right above the glove there. Make sure we're sealing it up. Good. Good. So, fairly easy drill, but it's the attention to detail and that's those sharp angles, right, that we talked about. However you make the save, I don't care how you make the save. If you want to make it like that or if you want to make it like that, but that hole has to be sealed every time. No matter if it's a wraparound, in tight play, majority of the goals that go in at this level are the chippy shit that's all around the crease here and the stuff that's out front getting tipped, right? But we have to take care of everything in tight. Sometimes we'll get 10 minutes, sometimes we'll get a half hour of goalie skating. It all depends on the day, but Every day we try to work on something, even if it's something little where we only get eight minutes at the end of practice, we try to work on something. So that's what we worked on today. So hopefully we go, hopefully we go to Ferris State and win. Build me up, break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right, we're just making